Hello YouTube, and welcome back to the Morrowind Adventures of the Inwa Rajai, uh, Rajai Mayal. Uh, when we left off, she had just acquired this house, and she had been making some success in her, her mercanting trade and her alchemy. But she, she does long for completing her goal. I mean, she set out once the, uh, the Emperor let her free to, to start her own business as a skooma chemist but so far far all she's made is some fortify restoration potions and some swift swim she isn't really feeling too contented by all this uh so she she decided she's gonna strive to get a little bit more accomplished to get you know some of her goals and dreams done today first off she's gonna unload a little bit She's a little bit heavy. And she's going to make her way back to Balmora, or Balmora, whatever you decide to call it. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. She actually heard from Ajira that there might be a substitute of ingredients or some ingredients that would substitute for skooma well, without some of the negative effects, without making the, the user go mad. So she's going to go and check out that source and see if there's any truth to that that rumor or not. Ajira is a good friend, so she wouldn't lie to her, at least not intentionally. Besides, 25 is probably a good number for a sample set of potions. Never hurts to butter up a merchant before trying to make a trade. So she, she gives him a little bit of money. Five's probably good as well, she thinks to herself. Goaty hide and shock resin. So she figures she'll give it a chance. That's no good. She can't exactly be peddling this stuff if it knocks people unconscious, she thinks.
But it does seem to make her a bit fast. And she thinks, or Jai thinks to herself, she knows just what she needs to, to remedy to this. All right, I'm listening. Should be enough to make her first batch of successful potions. What is it? She does notice it's a bit cheaper to get these one at a time, although it's a lot more time consuming. So I mean, since she's a busy, uh, a busy lady, she's gonna go ahead and grab multiple. I have heard of you, Outlander. Feel free to peruse my goods. I'll prove your goods all day. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna bet too far even for me. She has run into a problem that she's a bit too heavy for this still, despite dropping off all of her loot. So she figures she'll come back for those. She is struggling a little bit. Since this is the largest bottleneck in her business, she has to be adamant with her prices being cheap.
She is going a bit through her resources, a little bit faster than she expected. But she can taste the, the potion. It's almost it's almost come to fruition. Although she also does wonder if she can uh, substitute the crab meat or the egg for some salt rice or scrib jerky. Actually, she should be able to do all of them and make uh, the potion a little bit lighter. So she decides, being low on money, she's going to go ahead and go do that. There she has it. She got all of her, her money back, almost. Decides to grab one more inventory to take care of those Kwama eggs. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. There's still a major bottleneck here in the form of the Kagoti hide, but that will have to do since she can't find an adequate source of moon sugar 
in these the, uh, in this continent. And the potion she made is a little bit heavy. A lot heavier than it would have been if it was made out of moon sugar. But it's still a lot lighter than it had been before. I have heard of you out there, Dave. Feel free to peruse my goods. I'll peruse your goods all day. Like the third time this guy said that to me. I have heard of you out there. Feel free to peruse my goods. She figures this is a good opportunity to give it a test. And give herself a little bit of stamina as a head start. Starting to move way faster with this. Although she did wonder what would happen if she used all of her alchemy equipment. I and mean, these potions are good and they're they're valuable, but it's going to take so many of these valuable potions to speed her up. She wonders, maybe there's a better way. Not doing herself a lot of justice. There she goes. She don't need the lichen, she needs the Kagodi hides. shopkeeper's money.
She thinks 50 is probably good for a better test sample with better gear. She's starting to make some of her money back this way as well. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. She figures, you know, as I said earlier, 50, 50 ingredients is not a bad sample size. Especially when she uses her alchemic brain spell. So she heads back home to Sedanin, where she had her heavy alchemic ingredients chilling. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Keep moving. The sounds of Morrowind looping indefinitely really have... I don't even have a full thought there. I guess I just I like this the music of this game.
She only got 37 out of 100, so she decides to give it another shot. But she's not having any good luck. That was even worse. 15. There we go. A hearty 65 points. Gave herself an additional seven points to her speed. Yeah, it's seven. Um, and reduced the drain fatigue considerably. It was 13 points for 38 seconds, but now that she has her, her retort, it's three points for eight seconds. And gives uh, the user extreme speed and extreme uh, fatigue. Or stamina, really. It doesn't fatigue them, it just, you know. They have extra fatigue, they aren't fatigued. She decides this is a good opportunity to test that. She only has a limited sample, so she has to go easy on it, but she feels she could make it back to Balmora relatively easily. And again, she, she was forced to use the power of her time to get unstuck out of a rock. And again. Now she feels she she has everything she needs to really be able to explore this wilderness. Because if ever, if anything ever too powerful comes after her, she can easily just outrun it, and she can get places fast. Much to uh, the YouTubers' approval, I'm sure. She decides to pay a visit to her friend Ajira.
Is there something I can do for you? give a zero some of the the homemade cracks she made she figures Khajiit would probably approve such a potion She'll have to find a, if see if there's any other way she can trim some weight off of the potion. May I help you? Or see if she can find some sort of moon sugar salesman. comes across an Argonian named Hul, dead on the, the ground. Her guess is Hul, uh, due to insects, walked off the cliff. Darn bugs shouldn't kill anybody, she, th uh, she thinks. So you, she rewrites history with her kaim. It was not this man's time to die yet. She, she feels. Or maybe it was. What he seems pretty stupid. Probably was. She'll probably die again. I don't know. I think I kind of like role-playing as uh, Rajai my eye all. But it feels kind of boring. I don't know. Uh, don't you know? Is there something you need? Like this guy's cool. I like Vivek. But my skooma chemist doesn't know these things and doesn't really care. I'm just using Kaim as to keep it a little bit canon as to how I'm bringing Feel things back to, to life. My goods. Probably good enough. I mean, I don't want to outweigh myself over here. I don't really have any epic reactions in this game anymore because I've pretty much seen everything. The only reason I don't have the house in Balmora, the the Halalu house of uh, can't remember his first name, the guy that got it murdered, uh, is because it break character for me to even talk about it. Ooh, scuttle.
God damn it. Come on. Yo, fuck me now. Ooh. Come on. Son of a bitch. Just take my money, motherfucker. There we go. How wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. Yeah, she ain't having enough, none of that. None of it. That'll learn me. I'm almost already over encumbered and I haven't even got the rest of my ingredients. Some expensive ass fucking potions. Chalk resins, I think, about 30. Um, let's see. These are 10 each. I'm gonna talk her down to just almost like 7 each. She won't let me. You know what? Let's take them. All right, that's enough of those. Cut out the scrub jerky so I can lower my weight a little bit more. Now I just need to get the salt rice and the shock resin.
over encumbered, but I might be able to teleport home. If not, I have my uh I have my alchemy gear on me. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. Oh, I'm broke already. But that's fine, I already have everything I need. And I can take some of my money back. Go and give her the junk potions. I'm gonna sell that for at least 2300. Twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two hundred? Maybe? Got it. That gets me just light enough that I can make it home. I don't even know why I need to go home. Oh, that's, that's why. Nor for the fact that all these guys just want to kill me, I'd go back in there. I was stupid when I did that. You can you can do that. You just have to shut the door first, so they don't see that you're you're doing it. Because uh, Morrowind's NPCs were terrible. Uh, their their AI just awful. We'll make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Sixty nine points. Now. Is there something I can do for you? How can I help you? Come on. I really need to train restoration. Ooh. Got it. Uh, that's a hell no. There we go. 98, almost as perfect as it can get. 1.1.1. 1. 1. 1. So my main bottleneck here is this, uh, Kagodi hide. 
So it'll almost be perfect if it was moon sugar, because it'd be 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And then it, I don't think it'd have the drain fatigue. You get rid of this. Super speed. Um. Jet. Okay, it didn't wear off. Sorry I'm boring you guys, YouTube. I have no idea what I'm doing. To be honest, I'm very novice. This is the first time I've really recorded or tried to let's play this video game. And I still kind of think Let's Plays are kind of stupid, but... Hey, maybe someone needs help with Morrowind, or they don't know how to start it off. Maybe I can help. Um, although there's enough Morrowind players out there that anything I say is probably overridden by what they say. Rajai doesn't mind, though. That's all that matters to me. Fifty-five. She's gonna need to update her retort. She got an extra two points out of her potion. Come on. Got it. 155. A 90 point. I'll take that. That's not bad. That should allow Rajai to make back some money. Ariel probably wouldn't mind a visit from his old friend. If she runs back, give him some business, catch up with the guy. An honor to be sure. Yes, two of the ingredients she was just buying. She's actually going to go grab the lockpick. Offer arrow 50. But he's not having any of that. He too is a businessman. Rajai understands and decides she'll give him the 66. Thank you. 
she says goodbye to Errol. Decides to try a couple more of these potions. seems to be about the magic mark. You know, it'd be enough to get her from he here to at least Bal Balmora. Or hopefully to Balmora. She can climb. She's struggling to do. It's funny, she just sp uh, spent a couple hundred dollars worth of potions save herself an $11 fare. But she likes her freedoms. She likes her adventures now that she, she's gotten used to it. didn't see that. Well, it looks like that's it, guys. That is the end of Rajai Mayal. She went too fast and died from a, a long fall. She will be deeply remembered, and it's on to my next save. Till next time, YouTube. This is 2-4-Fresh, and hopefully you guys enjoy my channel. Uh, if you do, comment. Tell me maybe what I can do better. Uh, I am definitely still a novice at this. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.